action. I can't believe I just did that, guys. But hey, everyone, my name's Silver. Welcome back to my channel. And guys, we're up to 174 subscribers and growing. We have a bunch of new people coming in. And that is honestly amazing. It makes me super happy. And guys, I hope we can continue to grow. So guys, why are we here today? Well, we're here to talk about Dragfall Luard, if you can see by the screen. Normally, I open these videos up with something super cheesy or some sort of like joke, but I'm not funny, or at least people tell me I'm not funny, which may or may not be true. We'll, we'll go with them their beliefs for now. But we're going to go over the skill, and guys, I'm the first one to release this. I just, I just checked on YouTube. I'm the first one to cover this skill. A lot of people are posting it online and on forums and stuff, but no one's made a video about it yet. And honestly, guys, I think this is by far the best drag Luard there is for a grade 3, being it's the second one. So, guys, let's go over it. It's an 11k base, grade 3 twin drive, one critical, United Sanctuary Shadow Paladin, and its race is an elf. So... It's flavor text is dragon that has awakened for the second time. And guys, this this is the first card with the ritual X. And this is a alternate stride condition. So ritual X, the cost for stride or ultimate stride may be paid with counter blast four and choose a normal unit from your drop zone. Put it to the bottom of your deck. This unit's cost is lessened by counter blast one or one counter blast. For each grade one in your drop zone. <coughs> Guys, this is huge in a Luar deck. This almost makes striding for free. And this completely null and voids ultimate strides requirement for well, it's just it null and voids its generation break three essentially. Cause if we go over and look at ultimate stride <coughs> and how ultimate stride works, so Megido. Ultimate stride units have they have a red color frame gold lines. They're 25k with plus how it works ultimate stripes is a description during the stride step you may <coughs> During the stride step of your ride phase which comes after the ride step The number of cards already face up in the G zone is three or more You may choose a card from hand with the same name as your vanguard and discard it this entire section is null and void due to the skill because it says this becomes the stride cost and for luar deck to be at grade one have a lot of grade ones and drop zone is huge i mean normally you have three by the time you ride grade three and guys this is something you can just run decks that allow you to draw a lot of cards or have rear guards that are threatening and get there you can even drop on your first stride a grade one and a grade three if you really wanted to so as long as the conditions are met for stride this is good, and I honestly see this being a thing. This is also uh, Ritual Cross, sorry. As you guys can see here, <coughs> Ritual and Ritual Cross, let's see, they don't really define anything. But yeah, no, I mean, that alone is a pretty good skill. And then it's normal skill that we saw last week, Counter Blast 1. When your G-Unit strides, you may pay the cost. If you do, search your deck for a grade 1 or less, call it to regard and shuffle. If the called unit has the ritual ability, choose one of your rear guards in the same column as this and retire it. It doesn't say other. You may choose uh, choose one of your opponent's rear guards in the same column. Sorry, I, my brain died there for a second. I was referring to your own units and I didn't mean to. But guys, this card is just huge for the ward players. I honestly see this becoming a main grade three. And honestly, I'm taking a picture of this as we speak right now and sending it to my buddy over on um, Facebook because he plays Luard like me. And he was wondering if he should run both Luards in this in his deck. And I honestly think he should. I mean, I don't see a reason why he wouldn't. Um, I guess the only downside is, is having four cards. I mean, other than that, you can literally... If you have the requirements met on your first stride, you can first stride a Xeroth Dragon. I'm not saying you should, I'm saying you could. <coughs> and that's what makes it major. 
is overall it is overall a good card and I'm happy with it I'm trying to think of what to say I mean its art is amazing and I love its flavor text and give me one second guys cuz I just had to type something <coughs> sorry about that so advantages and disadvantages of this card there's a lot of pros about it again it's ritual cross is a good skill it allows a free stride or free ultimate stride basically for one card to the bottom of your deck completely null and voids the ultimate stride restrictions and it's a triple rare granted I would have liked this to be a double rare but at the same time I don't think this is gonna be as too terrible a card to pull um, he'll probably be about five dollars which is fair five maybe ten but with that being stated I mean just look at his art like it's awesome he looks like he's lost his mind and then it's flavor text the dragon has awakened awakened for the second time that flavor text just is beautifully written the again and I don't see a lot of downs to this card I think it does Luard's job better and it retires your opponent's units as well and the drag series is just an overall really good series in the in the decks so that being stated I'm not gonna drag this video out any longer guys I'm trying to reach a thousand subscribers right now because of YouTube's new subscription policy in order to make any form of monetization any to modify monetize your videos you have to have a thousand subscribers and four thousand hours of watch time I've already completed the watch time a long time ago and I'm still doing fairly well on that watch time what I need from you guys right now is the ability to smash that like button subscribe if you're new and then share it if each and every one of you shares with at least two friends that will double our subscriber count really quickly and yeah I mean I, I'd like to make do these more and the more subscribers I get the more often I see that you guys like this and the more views the videos gets means the more I can do right now I'm working with a buddy of mine to figure out how we can get some Fortnite up and other gameplay let me know if you guys want to see that type of stuff on the channel and what else you'd like to see until next time guys I've been the Silver Wolf and I'll see you all later peace